Hi, this is Nelly Deutsch, and we're on Quizlet, one of my favorite tools to engage learners. Usually my students create their own Quizlet study sets and share it with the class. So the first thing I do is create a class. So let's take a look at this. I do pay for it. I think it's worth it. All right, so let me click on Create. And notice what I have here. I can create a study set. Okay, so um, they also use this in the classroom, in the face-to-face -face classroom, on their phones. And every phone is different, which makes it kind of confusing for you as a teacher because you can't show the whole class how it works. But it's fun running around the class, going into each of their phones and helping them not create the study sets, but share it with the class. Okay, so notice it does say Quizlet Teacher over here so uh, this is how students create their sets and notice they can make it visible to everyone or only available to me to edit but others can also add to it so it's very very collaborative they just need to add title over here and a description so it's very intuitive they generally don't have problems creating their sets they do have problems in sharing it with the class using their phones if they all use computers it would be a lot easier of course okay so that's how you create a set let's go back here and uh, go into my teacher quizlet area all right so here I am. Notice what's available here. This is home. Now these are the sets. You can also create folders. You don't have to, but it might make it easier to manage. And of course, these are the classes. Okay, classes. So, and I can create a new class by going create a class. So right now, I have removed my school classes, so they don't really appear here. You can't see it. But these are my online teachers accounts. So yes, teachers do create their work. This was from a course called LOVE, Live Online Virtual Engagement. So one of their activities, students' teacher activities, was to create study sets and actually play Quizlet live in their Zoom and other virtual meetings. All right, so um, this is how you create a class. Let's go into create a class so I can demonstrate how it's done. It's all really, really intuitive and very, very easy to use. So to create a class, you add the name of the class. And I'm going to create a class for my English language learners. I'm going to call this Speak. So I'm not going to add a description right now, but it's called Speak English. This is a free online course. So if you're new to English, this might help. And the reason I'm doing this is because they'll be able to create sets and actually hear the words. I don't create set for students because I believe in student ownership and um, in encouraging my students to be independent learners and to take responsibility. Of course, they do anyway. So allow your students to add. Now, this is really an important feature. I do allow them to add study sets to the class. Select a school. Well, you can do that. I am not going to do that because it's Moodle for teachers. It's not really a school, but I could do it. I could do it. I could add Moodle for teachers. And notice that the school exists. There it is. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so next is create a class. Very, very intuitive, very, very easy. And you should add a description, of course. Uh, so this class doesn't have any sets. All right, that's okay, because the students are going to do it. So notice what's here. Copy. I can copy the invite. Okay, and um, students will join over here. Now notice what else is available. There's a plus here and plus for the learners and um, let's go through all of those very intuitive as i said so the plus is plus sets this is where i add sets 
sets that I already have. Notice uh, the plus. This is how I add the sets to class. Okay, so those were some of the activities. Let's uh, get rid of that. Okay, X. So that's the plus sets. If you hover your mouse over, you get all the information. Add members. So this is how I add them. I can just add their emails. And I think this is very easy to do, probably easier for you to do this for your students. So you simply um, add their emails over here. So let me do that. I'll invite myself in one of them. Okay, so um, let's add it. It's uh, Nelly at integrate okay so i'm gonna send that invite you can also uh, have a bulk you can add a lot of emails and uh, separate it by commas of course or you can simply and notice this is really really easy share automatic enjoyment look i've been using quizlet for many many years so feel free to ask questions notice i can copy this of course and then share it with the students. I'm using Moodle, so I can just share it with them on the Moodle site. Feel free to ask questions. Every question is brilliant. I'd be happy to help. Just add them in the comment box and subscribe to my channel. So that's how we create a class. And then you saw how we can also create study sets and invite our students. Let me know how it's going. And if you'd like to join me, you're welcome to do so. Just um, ask and I'll add you to my organization, to my school, online school. Have a great day and share. Whatever you learn, share with others. Thank you.